opening round of the FIM MX2 World Championship got underway under the bright lights of Qatar at the International Circuit of La Salle and it was Jose Boutron who grabbed the whole shot. Behind him was Dylan Ferrandis briefly before Max Anstey stormed into second position and then on lap three took over the lead from Jose Boutron with that pass there. Julian Lieber making a return to Grand Prix action after being injured through much of 2013 went out of fourth place with that little mistake and that allowed Jeffrey Hurlings to go by who had a bad start and was fighting his way back from just inside the top 20. The Kawasaki of Dylan Ferrandis found his way past Jose Boutron, the number 17 Spaniard. That put him into second and Jeffrey Hurlings in the closing stages, the last two laps, found a way past Glenn Koldenhoff who was sitting in third place at that point. Final lap, Dylan Ferrandis, the 122 on the green Kawasaki. Managed to take the chequered flag ahead of Jeffrey Hurlings. Koldenhoff was third. In MXGP, it was Kevin Strybos on the number 22 Suzuki that stormed to the Fox Head hole shot as he ran it out turn one in front of the Hondas of Evgeny Bobrashev and Max Nagel. Tony Cairoli was a little bit further back, but Goche Paulan wasn't too far away either. Paulan made this pass on Bobrashev. That put him up into third place, but the battle for the lead ensued between Strybos and Nagel. Nagel eventually going through in that right-hander. Kevin Strybos then on the 22 eventually came undone as Gauthier Paulan found a way through into second position. And then Tony Cairoli followed through a lap later. Frossard wasn't too far behind as well in fourth place and that was one battle that would play out for a few laps in the race. Tony Cairoli eventually moved into second with that pass on Gauthier Paulin, but he couldn't do anything about Max Nagel. And the HRC Honda rider was just looking for his first race win and it eventually came on lap 18. Cairoli was second, Paulin was third. In MX2 race two, the gate dropped and it was once again Jose Boutron on the silver action KTM number 17 who stormed to the lead but it was short lived as Max Anstey found a way through into the lead. Boutron was second, Thomas Covington was third and Alexander Tonkov was down in fourth. Boutron thought he'd squared off the American Covington but he bounced back and was through into second position. Hurlings again not making a great start, had to work his way through the field finding his way past the likes of Roman Fevre, that put him up into sixth position before eventually closing down on the rest of the guys ahead of him that included Alexander Tonkov and Dylan Ferrandis. He made light work of those guys and worked his way towards the front. Boutron went down as he caught the rear wheel of Covington and that allowed Hurlings through on the about four laps to go. Max Anstey, who was leading race one, also failed in race two. Hurlings went on to take the win, Tonis was second. So your overall then looks like this. Hurlings, Ferrandis, Fevre, your podium. Tonis, Tonkov, Boutron, Koldenhoff and Jordi Tixier. He'll be disappointed, leaving Qatar just eighth overall in a world championship as they head to round two. Tim Geiss was ninth overall, Christophe Charlier was tenth. And your overall podium then. As we just said, Roman Fevre, Dylan Ferrandis and Jeffrey Hurlings, your overall winner. And of course, Jeffrey Hurlings then leads the World Championship after the first round and takes his first red plate of the season. He'll be hoping that's the first of many. Well, I know I've been really struggling with my stars and we're still working on that a lot. And, you know, I've only been riding for for three weeks because I had six months off but it felt like I was the first time on a motorcycle today you know I rode like a good rider to be honest but you know I'm working on it and it felt like disappointing because I've been working so hard and it's not really been paying off but um, you know the competition getting stronger they're coming closer but you know I'm, I'm feeling I can be better and I will be better in a couple of weeks from now on. When the gate dropped in MXGP race two it was a close run thing but it was Mattis Caro on the Wilvo Fork Rent KTM that took the whole shot. But a lap later, Gauthier Paulan and Stephen Frossard, the two factory Kawasaki Monster Energy riders, battled it out for the lead. It was a little bit too close for comfort at times, but eventually Gauthier Paulan responded and found a way past his teammate, Stephen Frossard, number 183. Tony Cairoli was in third place with 
Max Nagel close behind in fourth for the duration of the race. Mattis Caro came unstuck as he collided and was put down on the ground by Kevin Strybos. That took him out of ninth place. Caro would eventually finish down in 15th. Strybos would eventually finish in eighth. But Max Nagel in at the sharp end after winning moto number one was on for a podium position but it was Paul Anne who won race two Frossard was second Kai Rowley was third and your overall classification Paul Ant, Nagel and Kai Rowley on the podium Stephen Frossard fourth overall at round one with Jeremy Van Horbeek Tommy Searle Clement de Salle disappointment for him and Kevin Strybos down in eighth ninth was Evgeny Bobrashev and tenth was Joel Rulons so your MXGP podium then here at the MXGP of Qatar round one of the 2014 series Kai Rowley was third Max Nagel second Goche Paulant your overall winner and takes the red plate going into Thailand in a week's time I mean really pumped for for this motto you know for this race I'm here first round of, of the world championship um, I'm proud you know all the team work hard behind me I'm working hard also and to put the Monster Energy Kawasaki on, on top of the box today it's, it's great you know now it's only the first GP for sure but what I get all the points you get it's uh, it's for you you know and living from this GP with a red plate uh, it's something uh, who tells me a lot you know something I, I really love and and uh, we'll ride uh, we'll look forward now for, for Thailand we'll have a great fly great race great training to, to do again uh, something good uh, over there.